So a new year is here and we are going to be getting some absolutely fire sneakers. So in this video, I'm going to be running through my top 10 sneakers that I'm looking forward to most this year. And I'm going to try and go 10 for 10 in trying to cop all of these sneakers. My bank balance is going to be taking a huge hit. Anyway, let's get straight into the video because there's only one place to start and that is with the Jordan 3 in the Black Cat colorway. So these first dropped back in 2007, I think they were the last time they dropped. Looked it absolutely incredible. The photos you can see here is off that shoe, but these are crazy. If these redrop, these are going to be crazy. A lot of people are going to be going for these. The colorway is all black with the black cement on there as well. Dope. I really do want these in the collection. And these are going to be super, super popular as well. It's going to be very hard to get a pair of these if they do redrop. So the next sneaker on the list is the Jordan 4 in the military blue colorway. And I really do like these. I think next year the Jordan 4s will be very, very popular. <laughs> The colorway on these is amazing. This shade of blue is really, really dope. Oh, and they did change the name of these to the industrial blue, I believe, instead of the military blue. And these are coming in on the 11th of May. So make sure you set your calendars for that one. These are a must-cop. And I actually do think these are going to be super easy to get as well. I'm really looking forward to these. I do hope I get a pair of them. These are so, so clean. Before we go any further, I just want to mention there's going to be a bunch of Jordan 4s on this list. And I think Nike are kind of doing what they did with the Dunks couple of years ago where they just flood the market with dunks because there's a lot of Jordan 4s dropping this year so on and around Valentine's Day the 14th of February we're going to be getting the Nike SB Valentine's Day and these look incredible I love the shade of red or burgundy on feet they look amazing and I have to get these these are so so clean we've got a bunch of Valentine's Day sneakers over the years haven't been really much of a fan of as one with like lace around it really wasn't for me but i'm happy sb has kicked in this year and given us a really really dope sneaker so I, i'm hearing that these are going to be dropping on or around valentine's day the 14th of february and i'm really looking forward to them because these are pretty cool and they look amazing on feet as well with some socks summertime these are going to rock differently these are so so clean so this is going to be a controversial one next year we're supposed to be getting we have seen the shoe the jordan one low trophy room the collaboration between marcus jordan and brand jordan the son of michael jordan however this guy it doesn't seem like he's going to be shaking those backdoor and rumors anytime soon so i'm not holding my breath to get in a pair of these for retail it's going to be super hard they're going to be super limited as all the trophy rooms usually are and they have a tendency to be backdoored a lot for me from the last jordan one drop they did like 90 percent of the pairs got backdoored and they were reselling for like two grand on the resale market i'm hoping to get a pair of these for retail but i definitely will not be paying resale for these because it's just going to be ridiculous the jordan one lows is one of the most popular silhouettes from the nike jordan brand right now so i expect the prices for resale on these to be absolutely crazy but the shoe looks incredible so many little hidden details on it on the back you get the signature it is really really cool i do like the materials on here as well absolutely amazing so time to talk about travis scott because he looks like he is back and it looks like we're gonna be getting some more jordan one lows and last year i actually thought the golf pair that i picked up was going to be the last pair of jordan one from travis but it looks like we're getting two new pairs next year probably more from travis scott and we're getting the black olives these are not my favorite pair of jordan one lows from travis scott i think the normal olives or the mochas are probably my favorites but these are cool. I do like the shade of olive on here with the black. I think it goes well together, but obviously it's not my favorite. But there is a very, very special shoe coming as well. And it looks these are coming in the summertime next year. This is the Canary Yellow or the Canary Jordan 1 Low collaboration with Travis Scott. And these look absolutely incredible. These could be my favorite Travis Scott sneaker. These are really, really cool. I love this color. This shade of yellow and the materials on here look amazing as well. As it's a Travis Scott, the hype is going to be absolutely crazy. And it's going to be super hard to get a pair of these. I'm definitely not going to be paying resale on these. I'm definitely going to try and cop everything for retail. So as we have Chinese New Year coming, Jordan and Nike always come out with their Chinese New Year sneaker. This year, just like last year, we're getting a Jordan 1 low. And these look absolutely incredible. You get some patent leather on here. You do get that really nice swoosh, which is in green. Um, 2024 is the year of the dragon, I believe. And I think, believe that is what the shoe is called, the year of the dragon. These look incredible. Every year we get something pretty nice. The patent leather on the Jordan 1 low always goes well. And these look like they're very, very wearable. You could probably rock these a lot in the summer with some shorts and some socks. 
these are dope we need to get these in the collection the only thing i'll say about these is i'm not entirely sure if these are going to actually drop anywhere else apart from outside of china so it might be very difficult but if they drop outside of china and asia we're in business i'm definitely going to try and grab a pair of these let me know what you think about these in the comments and how they stack up to the ones that we got last year because those were incredible super hard to get super limited because there was And I think this might be my favorite Jordan 4 of the year. This is the White Thunder. These are absolutely incredible. Not really sure when these are going to be dropping, but the black and the white. I love black sneakers. They are amazing. But with a little bit of white and the meshing as well, it looks incredible. These are something I have to get in my collection by any means. I don't think I'll pay resale for them, but I do think... As I said, all the Jordan 4s are going to be super easy to get next year because I think they're going to be higher stock and lower demand because of the price point. But they're still going to sell out, so make sure you're in there early to get your pairs. But these are absolutely amazing. I need these in the collection. These are crazy. So even though these Jordan 4s are my least favorite drop of the year, I'm still going to be trying to get a pair of these. And I think they're going to be super easy to get. This is the Jordan 4 in the Vivid Sulfur. And the shade of yellow on these is actually pretty nice not my favorite shoes very loud but i think in the summertime these will do very very well so depending on when they drop they will definitely sell out in the summertime if they drop in the summertime these are a summer shoe these are definitely something you should be wearing when you're on vacation on holiday by the beach side or something these will go crazy the colorway is very very dope but as i said it's definitely not my favorite jordan 4 but they're still pretty nice so it looks like we're getting a nike dunk for valentine's day as well as the sbs and I think the SBs will definitely be better, but the Nike Dunks are actually much, much better than the ones we got last year. The colorway on these are pretty nice. You get a mixture of burgundy, it looks like a shade of pink, and a nice off-white shade of cream color. Midsole looks a bit aged as well, and the outsole look pretty nice as well. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to get a pair of these because I think they're really, really nice. Very, very cool shoe, very clean. I think you can rock these with a lot of outfits as well. I'm definitely going to be trying to go and get a pair of these. And I think that is it for my list of the top 10 best sneakers that I'm definitely going to be trying to get. So guys, now you need to let me know in the comments what sneakers you're most looking forward to because there are a bunch of sneakers that I actually missed. Now there's a few honorable mentions like the Midnight Navy Jordan 1 High, which I think is absolutely stunning. And I think you'll be very, very easy to get a pair of Jordan 1s next year as well. But that is my list. Let me know in the comments what you think, what sneakers you're looking forward to. And if I've missed any, let me know in the comments below. Peace.